Hey, what up guys and welcome to another episode of Crease Teeth. Now, I can get stuck talking about Nike and Jordan forever and I feel like a lot of my videos have been around those two brands. So today we're going to do something different and we're going to discuss another brand. Now this brand I've been copying for a minute, um, more the, the retro sort of stuff which to be fair, I'm copying retros in most things I buy. But this model has a retro aesthetic, but it's a new model. And I think as sneakerheads, we get caught up in purchasing the same things over and over again, right? I've got way too many pairs of threes, fours, and ones. If I got Adidas, it's Superstars, Forums, Nikes, we got Air Max 90s. Air Max 1s, Air Force 1s, so on and so forth. We stick to what we know, right? In recent times, I will talk about Jordan for two seconds. There has been a couple of silhouettes that have come about that are brand new and actually don't look too bad. One of them I've already copped, which is this one up here. Another one I'm looking to cop when I see them, you know, in my size, in the color I want. But this one here, I managed to stumble onto a discount code for hype. And I had to scroll through, and I've been looking at this style for a while, but I haven't really seen the colorway I like. The, the gray day is probably the best one I've seen. That may give it away. But when I got this discount code and I started flicking through, I managed to see this colorway here and you know, online it looks fantastic. I don't know when I see it in person and I haven't actually seen this silhouette in person. So I don't know what it looks like, what it feels like. So right now, just because I love contradicting myself, we're gonna go straight to an unboxing of this shoe. Okay, so we got box by hype sent in and it is just plastic wrapped around the original box, so there probably will be a little bit of damage to the box, but I don't really keep the boxes, so it doesn't matter. say though it said it was meant to come last Friday but anything in Newcastle takes forever so it is what it is All right, MB on the box I do have a couple of New Balance already I generally get the 574 that's a model that I like um, any any time I really see it like under a hundred dollars I'll cop every time and for the most part <laughs> that's when I see them I think I got a pair the other day for seventy seven dollars at Rebel didn't even know Rebel sold them anyway let's get into this this is a brand new model which is an amalgamation of a couple of different models they're calling this the 5740. Now, I've been looking at this model for a long time, but it, it depends on the colorway for me. And I'd look at it and the colors they were going for, I'm like, this is almost a dope shoe, but it just needs a better colorway. I think this could be it. Man. When I was waiting on this, I honestly couldn't remember what it looked like. I remember there was a blue on there that kind of reminded me of a UNC blue, which this does. Um, and I knew it was like a neutral sort of color around that, but yeah, this is this is nice. It looks really big though. Maybe it's just the heel, just like the the uh, Balenciaga. Shout out to Malcolm. It's interesting, this type of shoe, if it had more the modern aesthetics instead of the leather here, and then say like this logo here was more that embossed modern sort of logo, you go, oh okay, it's like a dad running shoe or kind of looks like a, a Brooks. 
but they just throw in those certain aesthetics, the certain colorways, everything like that, and I, I think this looks fire. But, there is only one way to see if we truly like this shoe. That's to put them on. Okay, now that we've unboxed them, we tried them on, what are my honest opinion? Do they look exactly like on the website? Probably not, but what shoe does? Do I like the look of them? I really do. Especially this one, I don't know if they'd laced it in store for a display maybe, or, or what the deal was, but this one was definitely laced better, and just overall looked better straight away on feet. The laces were right, I could just slightly adjust them and it was good. I will say however, probably about a half size too big. I'm usually a 10, I've got plenty of 10s in New Balance and these are a 10, a little bit big. I can get away with it, but ideally I'd probably go with 9.5. So if you do want to get this one, half size down. Comfort, super comfortable, absolutely comfortable. I cannot say enough. Except for the fact they put in an extra bit of paper in the toe, which I wasn't ready for when I went to try them on initially. Colorway, super neutral with that little hint of blue, I'm not mad at it. The one thing I will say, when I did try it on straight away, was the lining in here. Straight away there was like a pill off my sock, so I think these will pill very easily. If you think, say, like a Jordan 3, those type of inner soles, I think even worse than that. All in all, from this colorway, or this brand new silhouette, I'm not mad at this at all. Obviously, New South Wales, we're in lockdown right now, for the most part. Newcastle went into lockdown last week. Doesn't look like it's gonna let up, so getting into stores might be hard. So things like this, shopping and hoping for the best, <laughs> that's all we got right now, right? Like I said, uh, the box was just basically in plastic, so if you are someone that prefers to collect their boxes, maybe hype isn't for you. I'm not sure. Maybe this is a one-off occurrence, but just something you should know before purchasing. But if you're just after something cruisy, chuck on, maybe go down the shops, central shopping of course, or whatever it is. New Balance 5740. I'm not mad at this. I'm not mad at this at all. You know what? It's the intelligence choice. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to play with the laces on this. I generally don't play with laces too much. But with these, I feel like if I can get them close to this with a little bit more of the tongue popping, I'm, I'm not going to be mad at these at all. It's something a little bit different than you will usually see on this channel. Obviously, Jordans, Air Max. That has been some New Balance, and I feel like maybe I need to do a video of, not all, but some of my favorite non-Nike and Jumpman sneakers, just to bring it full circle. But yeah, I'm not mad at these, and I think, yeah, the only, the only thing that, the, si the sizing is an issue. If I could get a nine and a half, that's probably what I'll do. I think one of the better things being this is a neutral color shoe is they're going to get dirty pretty quick is they got a darker gray so you go from the white to the gray that's not going to hold the dirt up as much like obviously my floors are clean-ish I just tried them on you can't see a single mark so that's that's a plus the material seem seem pretty good in terms of uh, quality except for like I said the liner you can even see right there but it is what it is man i'm not mad at these gr release easy cop plenty of colorways at the moment um if you look around you can find someone special or you can find a discount code hype had one i'm not sure if it's still working it was hype fam 30 i'll put it here if it still works it works if it doesn't it doesn't but yeah quick little episode while we're in lockdown crease deep uh 
make sure you like subscribe check us out on instagram and all that sort of stuff and let me know if you've had a pair of these or something different from the norm that you like and maybe i should check out peace